Are you still sitting with this? Are you still sitting with this um, this elephant herd? And I haven't seen any sign. We were chatting about the distress call earlier, all the trumpeting that they that they um, the sound that they make. Um, and then I was answering a question about if elephant have different distress calls for different predators. Now I don't think so. <clears throat> it's usually just the trumpeting and and. Um, the loud noise that they make when they are in distress and are upset about something. See, this is a, a youngish male. It's busy feeding over there. It's amazing how they're able to feed on some of these thorn trees. Some of these trees with serious, seriously sharp spines. And it doesn't bother them. Yeah, lilac breasted roller calling. It's also a young battalion that has been calling close to us. And those beautiful tusks. Uh, Ralph, do you copy? Morning, Ralph. Uh, Ralph, was was there another update on that uh, young male leopard you had on your side um, yesterday afternoon? Okay, copy. Thank you. Just thought I heard um, someone say that there, there might have been a young male leopard with a with a kill yesterday. Oh, hang on, let me reposition quickly. Said, but let me turn around for you. Because these two young elephants are busy playing. Let's see. <laughs> They've gone behind the bush. Maybe they come out again. Hold on. We've still got uh, this whole herd around us at the moment. So as I was saying, I, I um, thought I heard somebody say that there might have been a young male leopard that had a small kill on Chitra Chitra yesterday. But um, it doesn't sound like they all know exactly where that is. Um, some playful elephants. Seb, sorry, I've just spotted a young elephant straight ahead of us. Let's see if we can... Uh, let's just move behind that bush. Ricky, they're hiding from us now. Always nice to see the young elephants. Douglas, the elephants get most of their nutrients from the branches and tree bark and that they feed on. So often what they'll do with the branches uh, is they will strip them. They'll put them in their mouth, roll them, roll them around and strip the bark off because the bark is actually what carries all the nutrients um, to the plant, uh, to the tree or from the roots up to the, to the canopy and vice versa. So that's where all the nutrients are. And that's why elephants enjoy feeding on a lot of bark. So they get uh, they get most of the nutrients from that. Yeah, there's a young elephant again, younger elephant. Yeah, young males, two young males that were pushing one another around. And they'll often uh, display this playful behavior, testing one another, and all all comes down to a learning experience. There we go. Look at them. So that one day when they do reach maturity and they've got to challenge another male for for dominance, and they've got a, <laughs> a 
I'm hoping they come out from behind those trees though. And there they go. Look at that. Now again, that's not serious fighting. That is playful behavior. You can see how they push, push each other. I suppose you could say typical teenage boys. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. This is my, this is my favorite to watch. Elephants interacting with one another. Beautiful morning here. It's a slightly cloudy, still a bit overcast. So nice and cool. Hopefully, we get some movement from predators a little bit later. I might disappear behind this tree now. Seb, shall I turn it around for you quickly? Mm -hmm. Hold on a second, everyone. Let's just try to turn this vehicle again. This way. All right, well, let's sit. I'm going to sit a little bit longer with these elephant because it's such a wonderful sighting and always nice to spend time with them. Let's go across back to Scott and see how those young lions are doing. The young lions are doing well. They are not being as...